Hi guys, Gadget Man 404 here, and today is an epic, epic, epic flight around my favourite place at the moment, and this is the old American Adventure site. Now today, I met up with my pal PD Tech, another subscriber to my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed to me, click the like button, subscribe, and you will get more videos like this. Now today's flight, basically was testing a new battery, a 2500 milliamp hour battery made by Anbi. Now Anbi make a three-in-one desktop charger. They also make the original balance plate adapter, which you could then balance charge your Parrot Bebop batteries. You can't seem to get hold of them anymore. There are other ways of doing it I will make a video on that that will be to come when I get all my parts but this flight is an absolute monster this whole site is acres of land I mean I flew from where I was to the other side alone is nearly 600 meters and then I fly right round the lake and back to me and then I fly around me and behind me and to the left of me and to the right of me and so on and so on. Right there in the middle was where the actual, the rocking pirate ship used to be and used to be go kart sort of things up there. And then down in that middle bit there, there used to be the missile roller coaster. I used to go on that, very, very good. But it wasn't making enough money for the council. So like, what the council do, instead of having cutbacks, they just close it. And then to pay back the people that borrowed the money off the banks and the backers and so on, they had to sell all the rides to raise some money towards what they owed. I'm just over the other side of the lake. I've got a little bit of break up at this point, just adjusting my four patch antenna aerial on the Sky Controller 1. And then I get perfect picture and then I don't lose, I didn't lose picture, it just went a bit blurry. But I didn't lose picture at all. Now I am 70 odd five, yeah, 75 metres high at this point and you can see the bottom of the lake. The detail of this 1080p camera is awesome, absolutely awesome. Now they're launching a new uh, drone, Parrot are launching a new drone sometime in June, I think the 6th of June. There's like a countdown on the internet at the minute saying... 36 days to go and all that kind of thing um, if their new drone has got a 4k camera on board and it's not stupid money then I'll be seriously thinking about buying it I love this Bebop 1080p I mean look at this on a real sunny day 1080p is as good as 4k in my eyes I'm still a bit heavy handed with the uh, the gimbal and I'm not completely uh, smooth and everything with it, but I'm getting better. I'm getting better, but it's in an awkward place. You've got to keep your thumb on the forward and then one of your index, well, your index finger to try and move. And you have to do it very slowly, etc., etc. Um, I love this place. It's a real, real cool place to fly. I wasn't in the land, so I'm not trespassing. I was flying over the property if it come down and i had to go and get it then there's that's a slightly different story but i wasn't on the land and where that little windy road goes up on the right of this building i'm just sort of passing i was set up there you can probably just see my orange launch pad uh, and i'm standing not far behind it basically so just about in the middle of the screen now at the bottom of the screen that is where I am this is the old car park uh, the markings have gone but obviously uh, it's been closed for years and years and years and they've not repainted it obviously because they don't need to that road there is an overflow there's another car park at the top that is where the entrance used to be we used to walk through the, like the turnstiles you pay for your tickets etc and there was loads of buildings around here there was indoor play areas, there was food courts, but buying balloons and ice creams and hot dogs and all that kind of thing. Uh, I'm just basically trying to flatten this battery. 
Now, I've just hit five minutes in now. Okay, so keep hold of that. When I tested the battery originally from brand new and it hadn't had a full charge, I got seven minutes, 44 seconds on a 21% charged battery, which I thought was pretty awesome. Then one of my subscribers told me that you won't get much more than that when it's fully charged because of the weight of the drone. And when you fly, you use more energy than when you're when you're hovering, etc., etc. But I've been told the opposite. I've been told drones use more energy when they are hovering than when they are flying. And I believe this to be true because you can skip forward if you don't want to listen to me rambling on and giving you a bit of facts and so on and so on. The end of this video, it will say 7 minutes 34 or something. 17 minutes 34, thereabouts. But actually, I edited out a good minute and a half before that, and that was part of the flight. So the full flight was actually 18 minutes and 14 seconds on a 2500 milliamp hour battery. Now the wind was minimal, 1.2 to 1.5 miles per hour. And the weather was beautiful, really, really warm, nice and sunny. So that's why these shots are coming out so clear. And this is my favorite place to fly by far at present. Now I've got this drone, I'm getting used to how to operate it. I will be going a lot further afield because I trust I can fly it far away and I've got good batteries and I'm still getting eight to nine minutes on the stock 1200 and 18 odd minutes on a 2500. So, you know, these batteries are worth getting and be 2500s and they are on Amazon. I'm at 99 meters now, people, 99 meters high and it is just awesome drone the camera quality on this is absolutely second to none for a 1080p 60 it is high quality i'm at 99 meters high so i'm just under 400 feet and you can still make out the detail of what i'm looking at you know it's absolutely amazing people give the this drone you know i know people that have had the bebop 2 and it falls out of the sky and it does this and it does that the bebop 1 doesn't do any of that kind of stuff these batteries are good batteries. The firmware is good. The app works well. Uh, I can't complain. Touch wood. Up to now, I haven't had any mishaps. Return to home works. Altitude hold works. The camera gimbal works. I'm getting these shots from a drone. I've only flown it three or four times. And I just think that for the money you can buy these for second hand if you can get one without a scratch lens for the camera and you know the gimbal works and the controller works get one i would highly recommend anybody looking at getting a drone don't go blowing eight to nine to fifteen hundred pound on a dji product get a bebop i've flown in 15 mile an hour winds and i've got exactly the same results with the gimbal as I'm getting now. The gimbal is all internal, it's inside the camera, it's the camera that is the gimbal. So there are no protruding parts of this drone that can catch the wind, like a gimbal can catch the wind, and it's all built in the nose of the drone. The GPS module, the camera, it's all in the nose of the drone, it's quite light, it's not super super heavy, and I deliberately fly in video mode. I can fly in sport mode and you will reduce your flight time because you're flying faster. You will use more energy and you will not get 18 minutes flight times. But I like to get nice steady video so I don't fly in sport mode. But I'm just flying around. I'm at now nine minutes, nine and a half minutes people. Okay, I'm flying around thinking where can I go now? So behind me, I park my bike up here and I thought I'll go fly my drone at 99 meters high and I'll go and check that my bike is still there so it's like a surveillance system a very expensive surveillance system but it works that is my bike in the bottom well the middle 
bottom middle just now. I'm looking at my bike. Yeah, that is my bike. I think to myself, yeah, it's still there. So I'll turn round and I'll go back. There you go, fly to check, my bike is still there. And yes, it is. There's the main road from Ilkeston to Hina. Hina, if you just follow that road to the left, that will bring you to Hina. And then if you keep going, you'll go to Ripley and Codner, or you get to Codner and Ripley, etc., etc. And then eventually you can even get to Matlock that way. I, I mean, just look at those views. I mean, I'm just hovering there. Panoramic, I'm just panning round. I'm now 11, just coming up to 11 minutes, people. So I've gone over the seven minutes. I've gone over my nine minutes and a half on a 1200. And basically, look at what God has created. If you believe that God created all of this, wow, what a view. It, it, it is amazing. And people give drones a bad name. They give them a bad rap because of stupid people doing stupid things in places where they shouldn't be i'm not one of these people and i know that the majority of you that watch my channel are not one of these people but for the majority of people that do it they give everybody else in the hobby a bad name i've been flying for it'll be five years on my birthday this year okay in july and I started off with the little ones, the little ones that fit in your hand with a camera, but not FPV. I was interested in FPV just so I could see where I was going, not to spy on people. Like some people think, oh, you use a drone to spy on people. Without a drone, you couldn't do what I'm doing now. Or if you had a fixed wing or a plane, but planes don't cruise as slow at this, as this kind of speed. You know, planes are quite still... I think planes are still a bit fast. Uh, the disco, possibly, you can cruise at different altitudes and different speeds. But just look at this view, people. You know, I mean, it's it's amazing. And you wouldn't get this view if you wasn't using a drone. And drones are used for good. They they use them in the fire service now. They use them in the police service. They use them in search and rescue. Because these drones that people hate so much can really do good things. They deliver blood samples in Austria. They do so many different things. And a drone can be used for positive, good, good things. Don't think that everyone that has a drone is spying on their neighbours and all that kind of thing. You're going to get some people that are going to, oh, let's have a look. But not even a third of the people would use it for that. I'm using it for this reason, to do, to do these videos to show you guys what you can do with these drones or drones like this. I mean... I'm, I'm nearly 100 metres up at this point. And you can still see the lake. You can still see the weeds and the different tones of the water with this 1080p camera. The island, the glistening of the water. I mean, this this is amazing stuff. And this is why I wanted to get a Bebop. Because I had high expectations for this drone. And I have not been disappointed up to now. I can honestly say I'm well, 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 well impressed with this quadcopter. I need to get better at manoeuvring the camera just to get smoother shots. But other than that, the drone is perfect. For a beginner drone, it's really good. It hasn't got obstacle avoidance, so you have to be aware of your surroundings. Other than that, you know... And I think the new, possibly the new drone that they're doing will have obstacle avoidance for sure. I'm pretty sure it's going to have a 4K camera and it's going to have an even better battery. And, you know, with the extra power or the Bebop 2 power edition and all that kind of thing, you're getting over 25 minutes with those batteries, but they're 4,000 milliamps. The connectors on the 2s and so on will not fit a Bebop one. I suppose there could be an adapter made 
And look, I'm still flying around at 15 minutes, people. I'm not going fast. I don't fly fast. I like to take my time and just mosey on round. And I've set the camera settings and the yaw rate to quite docile because I want it nice. And the camera has never failed. The camera's rock steady. What I've done with the the control button, they should have it like on a roller. But on the control button, I must have moved it a little bit to my left. That's why you're getting the prop shot on the left, but you're not getting it on the right. It's because I've just moved that camera a little bit to the left. But that's it's an awkward position. It sort of comes out of the controller, not straight up, but it's coming out to the right. And you've got to remember, forward is still forward, down is down, left is left and right is right. Just be gentle when you use the camera. Now, I'm coming in for a landing, I believe. I'm getting an alert at probably uh, 16 and a half minutes. It goes then from 9% and then it rapidly decreases. But you know what? That's not the end of the world. When this drone is getting low, it doesn't do return to home, but it will do an auto land. So as long as you've got control of the camera, you can see what's beneath you, you can manoeuvre it while you're coming down, and then you're not going to land in a lake or on a house or etc, etc. So just wanted to put this out there, the Anby 2500, get them from Amazon, they're about £26. I would highly, highly, highly recommend getting an Anby. I'm trying another... Um, Bebop battery, that's what I'm going to be getting uh, for the 2.0. So thanks for subscribing. Please continue to watch my stuff. Give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Gadget Man 404 out. Thanks for watching Gadget Man 404's channel.